Point of Sales, Module 4. Okay, this, uh, in this video, uh, we are going to be adding more buttons to our point of sale system. Uh, we want to make sure these buttons turn on and off before we start uh, accepting payment correctly. We're also going to be laying out the, uh, the payment text box and the labels as well. So let's get started. All right, <clears throat> let's go to our uh, folder. Access projects. We are going to make this uh, copy of this uh, module three. Control C, Control V, and let's name that to uh, four. All right. In this uh, video, we are going to. Um, add more stuff to our uh, POS. Uh, let's see. So last time we ran this one, uh, let's yeah, let's let's take a look. So these are uh, good initially. All right, this is good. Uh, we need uh, more buttons and more stuff to uh, make all our uh, POS complete, all right? So let's follow along. I'm gonna add three more buttons, couple more text boxes, and you'll see what I'm doing here, all right? Just follow along. Uh, let's go to the design view. Uh, first thing that we need to do is uh, this customer's information here, we don't need it. Uh, memo as well, we don't need these guys, all right? So I'm going to get rid of this guy. Uh, let's see how we're going to get rid of it. I'm going to move this uh, this uh, guy down there. And this this is probably going to be the easier way to uh, get rid of this. This customer information, we're going to get rid of this, all right? And you'll see why, because we don't need to, to display anything there. I am also going to, um, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I'm going to revert back. We need three text boxes. One, two, three. All right. Um, one, two, three. Yep. So I'm just going to keep three. I didn't get rid of this guy. All right. Yeah, get rid of this guy. Um, we have this guys right here. I'm going to, uh, yeah, move that guy. Oops. How come I didn't grab that guy correctly? Let's try that again. See, so what are these? Those are, okay, good. So, yeah, I am going to uh, make that guy shorter, like so. Um, maybe a little more. Right there, that looks good right there. And and I'm gonna move this guy away for now. We are going to be doing things like this. I am going to move these guys back to this position. Uh, maybe right there for now. Like that. All right. I'm gonna copy this guy. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Align this guy up correctly. So this is good. The order. I need to uh, join these two together here, and I need to. Select these two items, label and text box, and join them together. Similarly, the last one. All right. So this is what we're going to do. Um, 
we are going to make make this guy a grand total grand total this guy will be payment and this guy will be change like so and then I'm going to uh, um, select those labels and make this guy align right we'll go ahead and uh, name this guy as uh, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna hold on just a sec. We need this number right here, customer number right here. All right, so I'm gonna make a copy of that. Co copy, paste, move, uh, move this guy up there, and then I'm gonna copy this guy, customer number copy and put into this new text box actually before I can do that because I need to rename this guy to uh, grand total now I can uh, make this guy customer number all right we got grand total this one's going to be txt payment payment all right matter of, yeah payment and this guy will be change txt change okay uh, I'm gonna move this guy further down just a tad and 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 make this guy a little taller what taller right about uh, maybe a little little taller no that's good right now and then uh, right there I'm um, getting a bunch of lines here don't stand it right there there I think that's too tall if that's too tall I'm gonna make it a little shorter push it back up that looks about right that looks about right now move this guy up huh you know what I'm gonna revert back because the label did not yeah I didn't need to I need to select the label as well uh come on yeah i didn't select the label that's why it's like that so jump mumbo jumbo here how about this guy Uh, you know what I'm gonna make this guy and that guy uh oh, I see I see what's going on here okay I see what's going on there let's select the label and con control together as a matter of fact let me deselect that again select all of these guys right here let's make it a little shorter uh, I think that looks good Let's push this guy up push this guy up and this one oh that one's perfect and let's last two bottom last one right there that's good that looks good right there and now I am going to move this guy to there just aligning this right all right bear with me and then this guy just go a little wider there 
Okay. All right. Now let's select them all again. We're gonna change the text to 14. Text size or uh, font size 14. There you go. And um, the order number. Hmm. Order number. Order date. Kind of playing around with this guy here. Maybe this guy just need to be a little smaller to be distinguished differently. And then make the like so, so it sits in the middle of the text box. That looks good. And then maybe this guy alignment. Just playing around here. Uh, alignment. How about center right here? Good. That looks good. How about this text box? Text one. Okay. And this box right here now can come up here. You see what I'm getting at now? That's going to be right about there. That looks good right there. Something, okay. This guy's not, that's alright though. That's alright. So now I'm going to select all of them and push both of them down. Right about there. Control S. <clears throat> so now before we add well, we'll go ahead and add these three but buttons. Copy, select both of them, uh, all three of them. Control C, Control V, right there. We are going to. Uh, I am going to uh, move this guy down here. Move this guy back up there. Uh, actually, this one that will be last. You see why I'm moving things around here. You in a minute, and that looks right. Uh, something's off. There. All right. So we're gonna name this guy. Done. All right, and give it a name. CMD. CMD. Done. And then cancel this one. Pay. Name this guy CMD pay. How about payment? Uh, payment will correspond to this payment, and this one is cancel or edit CMD edit, and that complete is good because we just moved that guy over here. That's good. All right. Uh, we need one more button. I'm going to copy this guy. Paste. Put this guy right on the bottom here. Move this guy right about there. And we're going to call this pay now. Pay now. And then right there that looks good right there so now I'm gonna move this guy away so that I can move this guy up here you see what I'm getting at now right there good good uh, let's uh, yeah let's select this search box right here let's make it a little taller right about uh, right about there and now we're going to make the text font size 14 perfect good and then let's uh, let's make this text a little wider uh, might be too wide there let's uh, there 
Just like that, all right? Just like that. Just like that. Of course, this guy is going to expand. Now we can, uh, matter of fact, right there, this guy and these two guys. right there so this is how it's going to look uh, right there this guy needs to go up just a tad we want the uh, oh come on we want the space to be the same as the uh, Uh, come on, there you go. There, we're all good. Whew, took a while there. All right, so that's what we're gonna have. Okay, now we need to uh, add the con set, uh, controls to correspond to all this. All right, but before we get there, before we get there, we need to remove all the customers. Well, the customers' information other than uh, customer ID and customer number. Okay, so let's go code behind, control F, let's go search customer, go find them, see that display customer, that's fine, clear customer, we're going to get rid of this clear customer, alright, so, um, delete that, delete that, that, no, that will no longer exist, Also delete that. Continue finding this guy. See all this right here? We need the customer ID and custom customer number. Those are hidden fields. But the rest of them need to be gone. Like so. Alright. And then next. Oh here, display customer. Remember, same thing here. We only need customer ID and customer number. Alright? And also, we don't need the we don't need the previous ID, all right. So we're gonna get rid of this uh, if then else statement. There. Uh, let's go find next. This one ID is okay. ID is okay. Customer number is okay. It's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That is not fine because we're gonna get rid of that, those guys. Oh no, that's a number. That's fine. That's fine. Or the number. That's fine. Okay, let's go to next. Uh, remember, we remove the memo. All right, we'll go ahead and remove the memo. Oops. There. Let's go to the next. Number is okay. Customer is okay. Memo is gone. Memo is gone. Yeah, just follow along. You understand why, all right? You see it when we set the controls. Uh, clear customer. These right here no longer exist. So we're gonna delete that out. We'll continue finding the customer. That's good. That's what we started. That's good. That's good. That's good. Good. So far, so good. Uh, what was it a while ago? Okay. Oh, right here, memo, see there? That needs to be empty. That needs to be empty like so. That's good. Looking good. Looking good. So that's what we have, all right? I think that's all we have. Okay, control S.
Now, um, now let's work on these controls. Let's make that an event. Okay, let's go to the next two two ones. This guy, let's make that an event. Let's go to the cancel. No, this cancel is not, it is edit. All right, remember that's edit. See right there? So, let's make that an edit. Good, that's perfect right there. That's perfect right there. Now I'm gonna close this out. Let's work on this um, done. All right, when you say done, all right, so here's the idea is when you click new sales there are two buttons going to show up done and cancel that's all the rest is disable right this the rest is disable so and then we, when we click done all right only payment and edit is allowed so Let's do this. Uh, that done is going to take this guy. We're gonna we're gonna say hey before you uh, before I allow you to uh, um, go to the payment button, I want to see if you have any products in the cart. All right, and this guy right here no longer need it there because we're going to check right where the button the done button is okay and then <clears throat> once this guy's click this guy this guy's not uh disabled that guy's disabled only payment is allowed and edit all right and edit so and then we'll go uh, let's try edit all right, so when we go edit, we are going to we are going to do this. Oh, I forgot to uh, set set control here. Set call set control call set control. All right, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna say edit. I'm gonna say edit. So then when you say edit, it's going to disable this guy and it's going to go back to the done and cancel. You'll see what I'm saying uh, when, when we start uh, testing this one. All right. Now, if they click pay, only edit and complete, it's enable. All right. And the rest of them will all disable. So and then we'll say pay. Type in pay, all right, and that's how that's gonna work. And I'm going to uh, move the search text box away. That way, all the click events, put, uh, click event procedures, all in a, together, just like that. So this all the click, 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 cancel, and all that. Yep, and then add new. Perfect. Now, <clears throat> let's go to set control. So we add we add three buttons in there. All right. So I'm gonna say case. Uh, this one is uh, we got a edit. We need done, 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 and we need pay, and that's it. That's it. We need two or two items. Okay. Now there are buttons. There are buttons. I'm going to uh hold on, let's go to I'm gonna go grab these guys down here somewhere. Yeah, this guy somewhere down here. I'm gonna grab one of these guys and then go up there. That way I don't have to do a whole lot of typing um, let's label these guys in order 
So there's an add, and there's a done, enable. When you're done, this guy is false. This guy is false. Cancel and then pay me command pay met enable true. Uh, edit command edit enable true and then um, and then um, complete false. All right. So that means there are only two buttons going to show up when you click done. Okay. And when you click pay, when you click pay, all this, the edit is true. The, this guy becomes true. Payment is false. All right. Um, Oh, we need one more button. Pay now. That's right. Right there. Pay now. So, CMD. Pay. Pay now. Oops. Pay now. There you go. And then let's make an event. Okay, now. The pay now. The pay now. Uh, I'm going to copy this guy. Copy, say pay now, pay now. Again, I'm going to move this guys down. Copy, right there. Now, let's add another case. It's pay now, pay and pay now. Case, pay now all right copy now to pay now we only have edit the rest is false we don't allow anything else all right we don't allow anything else and the pay now will become uh complete so i'm looking for complete so Pay now will have this guy if uh, record save then then do this oh okay got you pay now yeah okay so pay now once you've done pay we're gonna allow uh, new sales my bad just the new sales the rest is false and then we let me push this guy in there and then we uh, call and then we call this guy all right and now to complete then I'm gonna copy that uh, these buttons again here copy oops copy complete it's going to be like this so to complete then it's going to say pay now to the rest is that's uh that's the edit is uh edit because you you should always allow edit so that they can go back and make adjustment to the uh to the products for example the customer could decide to uh, to return a product. He didn't have enough money, all right. Or they decide to add more items, more product. So you should always allow edit, all right. So now, um, yeah, when record safe. So when the record safe. I'm going to copy this uh, pay now right here and then we're going to uh, fix this uh, fix this guy 
So when you do, um, when you click save, the add is false. You don't allow that. The done is true because this is just saving the order. The cancel is true and the rest is false. Good. All right. So that's good right there. That's good right there. And then delete is always going to be delete. Cancel is going to be delete. Okay. So cancel is going to be delete. If cancel is going to be delete, then it's going to take on the form of save. Same thing. Once you pay now, it's going to, it's going to behave the same way other than save and delete. Okay. So this is the delete. I'm going to go right there. Oops, my bad. It should be inside. Like that. Alright. And then the clear, uh, and then the case empty. Case empty, we're not worrying about the previous I, uh, item because when it's done, it's done. Alright. So I'm just gonna, oh, look at that. We got clear text boxes up here and one down here. We didn't even see that. Good thing that we're doing this. All right. So that's how that's going to look. I'm going to push this back out. That looks good right there. That looks good right there. Okay. All right. Let's go play with our uh, bun, uh, buttons. All right. And we worry about this uh, text boxes later. Okay. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to new, done, cancel. And just play with these six buttons first. All right, it's close. Let's see. Let's see what they look like. Good. So far, so good. Yeah, we'll we'll play around with these guys later. As a matter of fact, um, yeah, let's add the pay now in there first. Hold on. Uh, we forgot the pay now button in here. Um, first off, let's add the done, bu done button up there, enable, true, cancel true, me, command, uh, payment, enable, false, me, command, uh, Complete, enable, false, me, command, pay now, enable, false, oops, false, okay, okay, I see how it did it here, so that's fine, so that means we can, um, Change this guy to edit, and then do that. Oops, do that. So the default is false, but if it's edit, then we enable enable complete. Nope, nope. That guy's will always going to be like that, just like that. Yep, that's good. That's good. Let's go to add pay now right here. Me, command, pay now, enable. Uh, when you click done, pay now, false. I'm just going to copy this guy now. Then I don't have to type. And then when you click pay, the button is true. Pay now is false. And then, you know what? I'm going to make this guy go in order. I'm going to copy this guy right here. Yeah, that way we know we are following the, the button in order. I'm going to put, nope, not there. 
put right behind pay. There you go. So when you click pay, then this guy's enable. All right. When you click on the complete uh, command, pay now is enable. True. And then still the edit, yeah, we allow edit, and the payment is false. Yeah, the payment is false. Um, let's see. And this uh, after is pay now, command pay now. Oh, yeah, I was I thought I to copy that guy. Let's try that. Okay, now copy this guy right there. False. Uh, save. False. Delete. False. This two. False. All right. Let's go test it out, close it out, open it up, perfect, perfect, just like that. Now we add, cancel, yep, perfect, no, done, good, no products found, you cannot, you cannot finish because your card is empty. Good. Let's add one or two. Done. Good. Edit. Perfect. Oh, that edit needs to go. Needs to go. Let's uh. So when you click on edit, when you click on edit, um, when you click on edit. We don't have an edit button in here. That's why. Cancel, payment, edit. Yeah, let's put edit button in here. False. Oh, we had edit button down here, but not here. That's why. Okay, let's try that again now. Uh, cancel. Yep. Good. Good. Let's try again. Done. Good. Edit. Perfect. That's what we want. That's what we want. You see how we're doing it now? And it will say pay. Good. Good. All right, now let's add the, uh, let's retrieve the uh, grand total. I need, and then we need to add the logic for the payment. When when you click on complete, we, we, we need to calculate the payment and the change. All right, so let's edit and let's cancel. All right, let's go get grand, grand total. Grand total is in this uh, uh, POS, POS product right here. Alright, so here I'm going to keep that right there. I want to say forms, uh, form POS dot txt grand total uh, equals, I'm going to come over here and copy this guy, copy. Just like that. Alright. Control S. Save. Now let's close that file down. We're back to here. Now when we click on complete. Complete where are you? Right here. Right here. Before we say before we allow a uh, complete. So when you click complete complete, it opens up the pay now. Okay, let's go to pay now. Yep, 
the pay now, yep, yeah, this is where you say pay now. You say you got it identify if that box text box is no or yes, all right. So if not is no me uh, payment, then and if and then we'll do oops and then we'll do else here, okay. All right, let's push that guy in. Now, if there's something in there, we want to validate. Now you could do if it's numeric or if um, if it's numeric. That is a function to identify if it's a number or not. All right, uh, payment. Then again, else. And if you want to uh, now, if you make this uh, payment text box a number, general number, uh, it's going to give you a system messages. But if you don't define anything, you you can give yourself uh, your your uh, you can uh, pop your own message. All right, all POS message. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to we're not going to define that as a number, okay? So now we say if if um, payment is greater than and equal to me grand total, then then we we'll do this, and if. You see how that works? Uh, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, we're gonna, yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna just switch up. I think I see what's happening here. We don't want it to be here. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna copy that. It, it should not be in there, it should be in the complete. It should be in the complete, and then we'll say complete button here, and that complete will turn on the and then the complete will turn on the uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, the button, the pay now button. But right here, it's called pay now. All right. But right here, when we click com complete, we want to we want to say um, first off, when you type in the number, actually I'm going to leave right there, and I will explain to you later. Cause if I do it now, you you will not understand. All right. So I'm just going. I'm not going to format anything, but I'm going to do this. Um, me txt change equals uh, me text payment minus me grand total. All right, that's that's going to be all change. Okay, and then we'll complete. Okay, so what happens when you do complete then? Let's go see. Complete pay now is true. You see that? You see that? All right. All right. Uh, also, 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 when you say payment, yeah, you know what? Let's do this. That way, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna separate out this uh, this uh, calculation. Display delete. I move down right here. Set order lock. Oh, right here. I'm gonna add a function. Um, let's add private sub show uh, calculation show payment calculate calculation. And then and then we're gonna do a boolean here. 
be show as bullying. Like that. And now I'm going to uh, default to I'm going to default to uh, false. Me takes grand total. Um, initially, we are going to lock everybody. True. When uh, Hamid. True. And then the third one is a change. Lock. True. All right. <clears throat> and we're also going we are also going to default it to background white. So txt grand total uh, back color color white me uh, payment back color white. Uh, white me um, change back color white let's see what else we lock and then we want to uh, default to visible grand total Visibility uh, false me payment visible false. These are all defaults, okay? By the way, that way we don't have to do uh, if then else. Uh, visible, come on, false now. Now if if b show then see there see how the, you see how I'm doing it now I'm gonna copy this guy and put them right inside there and turn them on true true you see how I'm doing it now true and then we also want to uh, change the uh, payment text box back color to how about light peach like we've been doing all right I think that's light peach let's uh, yeah let's see what we use in the uh, in the customer and all that uh, let's go to fun fun color bad color it should be the next one I'm going to scroll down is it peach light peach yeah you see there that's edit mode okay good yeah we want to make sure our theme is the same color all right so that's it and then we'll go back to the control and we're going to turn on and off all right on and off so initially initially We are going to say call show. You know what? I'm going to just go down there and make a copy. I forgot. I I should just make a copy right here. See, let's see what this one looks like. So we're going to default this guy to call show call show. False. We don't want to show. All right. However, when we say complete, now when we say pay now, here we we'll say call. Let's see if that works. True. Okay. All right. Let's let's take a look. Let's see what it looks like. Well, you know what? We need to keep displaying these items total so 
Um, you know what? Let's think. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to that uh, calculation. Let's see what it looks like right here. Visible true. We always want to show the grand total. That way, when we add product, we should see the numbers changing. All right. Uh, one thing that we also need to do. I think I remember. I made all these guys. Uh, these text boxes transparent. Uh, actually, I just want to make this guy not transparent. You see here, back back style. That needs to be normal. Uh, one other thing, I'm gonna make this. Uh, I'm gonna grab this border color here. Uh, right here, border color. I'm gonna grab that border color, copy, and now I'm gonna make this guy that same color. See there. All right, let's Control S. Let's close it. Let's test it out. Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. White. Continue. F5. So that's okay. Uh, hmm. We don't. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. Or we could, um, or we could show all of them. Let's see. Uh, let's try that. Let's try that. Um, yeah, let's let's try this. See, if this might look even better. What if we did that? Yeah, let's get rid of this guy for now. Yeah, let's get rid of that guy for now. Let's see what it looks like. That's not too bad. No, that's really not too bad. You know what? Let's try that. Let's keep it like that. I think I like that. Okay. Now, then we don't have to do this. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And, uh, and then we can just default this guy on the onload copy that and then go to the onload preset right here we just do this and then in the set control when it's, when we say pay, we can just make this guy uh, text box payment back color uh, color light peach like that. All right. Okay, let's see how that. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, hold on. Uh, we're gonna yeah, we're not gonna do that in there. Just like that. Let's see what it looks like. Good. Good. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, we'll go ahead and show this guy right here. This uh, box. Yeah. Let's show the white box. Let's show the white box. So let's uh, let's do some more tweaking. Um. Let's find, uh, what is it, box what? Box, box what? I know it's a box something, we changed that in the last video. 
I don't know, I don't remember. Box or the info. Alright. I'm gonna copy that and let's go find that guy and see where it is. Let's go find this guy right there. I'm gonna take I'm gonna copy that and then remove it. Let's go find the next one. See there? We're going to uh remove that. Done. Now now that is going to go right in the this guy. That makes more sense, you see. False. Hey, true. That's it. Alright. So I'm gonna close that down. When we open up that white box is gonna show up. Just like that. Perfect. Good. I like that. What do you think? Okay, so far so good. How about all search? Is still working? Good. Good, good, good. Uh, okay, let's add new. And see, nice. This is it's starting to look right. It's starting to look right. And, um, yeah, it's starting to look right. Cancel. Alright, now let's go to complete. Let's go to complete. So when, when we say complete, when we say complete, you see here, we're going to add all um, We're going to add all uh, our own message, application message You see that, information And this would be er um, Insufficient payment. There you go. Insufficient payment. And then we'll give a message. Um, uh, full, full payment required. There you go. Oh, what happened? Oh, parentheses. And then I'm going to uh, copy this guy. And the next logic. This one is says uh, error uh, numeric. Okay, error invalid entry. Yep, error entry. And then we'll say in in invalid entry see how we're doing it now and now in this first one here we'll say required and then we'll say and then we'll say payment required you know what let's conform to uh Capital letter here. R. Control S. All right. Let's uh, let's add some stuff. And that's good. Done. Payment. Nice. You see that? Now when we click pay, this guy turns on, and we want the cursor to jump right there. Let's go. Let's go fix it. Let's go fix it. It's, it's looking good. It's looking good. See right here. And then we'll say me text payment um, set focus. All right. And then when we when we click edit. All right. When we do edit. When we do edit right here. We want to clear payment. No. See there? So for example, uh, oh, I didn't, we didn't, we need to unlock that guy. Ah, uh, we didn't unlock. Let's go unlock it. Right here. 
let's go ahead and unlock it right here me txt uh, payment locked false oops false And then when we come in here, um, yeah, uh, me payment lock true. That's the only place that we need to lock and unlock. So if we do this one right here, oh. That's locked. That's good. Except we need to change the color back to the white. Uh, me txt payment back color color white. Either there, either there, or we call yeah. You know what? Either there, or we do this. And that does the same thing. I think that's probably better since we already have all stuff in there like that. Okay, let's try it. Uh, done. Payment. See how it jumps over here, and we're allowed to add. Let's uh, let's do that, and let's say complete. Payment required. Okay, now let's put um, let's put this guy in there. Invalid entry, nice. Now let's put one thousand in there. Arr. Okay, we don't want that. That's bad. That is bad. We don't want that. Okay. You know how to do that and you also notice how we don't have that dollar sign in there remember I said I was going to show you later if you don't see this then there's a problem that's why I have to show you this so I can show you how to fix this oh by the way whatever I show you here I don't charge anything all right free free lesson but that doesn't mean that I don't take donations thank you for those of you guys made donations I truly appreciate it that gives me energy all right so this is how you do you can't just say you can't just say payment equals um, you can't just say like this I mean, uh, dollar sign, whatever there. If you did that, that becomes that becomes a string. All right, you don't want to do that. Okay. What you really want to do is this is what you want to do. You say uh, format me text payment and then dollar sign just like we did with the other one uh, comma bam bam zero dot zero zero all right now that is a number all right that is a number that's not a string when you did this all right when you do the format that's yeah it it remembers this guy so now you can say um, now you can say right here uh, C double you see there you convert that to a double C D B L we want to make that payment more than this guy and then you can come in here all right 
And now, when you do the change, when you do a change, you format the change. All right. The same way that we did earlier. Remember, this is different. Yeah, that's how you that's how you format the dollar sign. All right. Now, if I edit that, all right, and then I say, oh yeah, when you edit that, that change need to be, we need to clear that change as well. So, uh, hold on here, right here. So yeah, see that? These are the things that we we have to, you know, this is what we do, programmers. All right. So let's try done. Edit. Perfect. Done. Make payment. One thousand. Complete. You see that? So that's different. All right. So that's because we add this logic right here. You see that? We add that logic in there, and it says full payment required. You see that? That's good. That's what we want. We cannot have underpay. So we don't turn this guy on at all. All right. Now, if we did three, complete. Nice. You see that? And that's how you format the number. All right. That's how you format the number. Okay. Now, if we do pay now, it's going to continue on down just like before all right hopefully just like before pay now pay now record safe um and then on the on the yeah hold on and now on this record safe it you see how before it was looking for this guy now we we'll, now we wanted to look for this guy look for the pay now okay all right let's complete okay something's wack wacky there something's wacky there close but you see how we did that now okay also we need to clear this when we're done also we need to clear that when we're done all right all right, I'm gonna stop the video right now. Uh, I think we've got a whole bunch of stuff that that we uh, that we did. All right, or even edit here when you did the edit. You need to clear this or those guys. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go back in there. Add new. What's add new? Add complete add cancel add no right here so we need to make sure we clear everybody yeah grand total equals no me takes payment normally we add another function to do this like we've been doing uh but this one is yeah this one is also fine all right um I mean, you can go so crazy with these things, okay? And um, cancel. Add new. Good. Cancel. Good. All right. So that's what we have. Uh, let's see. Grand total there. And huh? You know what? You know what? When we add new or edit, let's do this. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. We are going to uh, we are gonna do this format zero. So this is what you want to do, and then we just add this format right here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the whole thing here. there and then put a zero in there remember that is a number okay 
It's not a strain when you do this. Just remember that. You know, it's the same way. Alright. And now I'm just going to copy this to the to the add. Oh, actually, you know what? The edit. Yeah, that's good. What's the edit? What's the add? Right here. I'm going to do that, copy that, and put this right there. Okay, see if that does. So if we click this guy, this this should all be zero, 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 zero. Perfect. That's how you do it. All right. That's how you do it. So, like I said, we're gonna. I'm gonna stop right here. All right. I think we got everything. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at this 62, uh, 65 here. We got number 65. We're going to try to add again. I know we're going to get error when we are uh, trying to show the receipt. Uh, so we'll worry about that later. But I want to, yeah. But, but right now everything is looking right. Okay. So the buttons look right. And that's what we came to do is making sure that these buttons right. And this thing shows up correctly and we'll worry about the payment and all that later okay all right that's all for now happy programming thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe like share and hit that bell and also comment below and if you need help inbox me thanks again